Today, we are going to talk about weapon crafting in Destiny 2. How to get the materials needed, how to get the frames needed, and how to get the rolls you want on your weapons. I remember when you had to wait on the blessings of RNG to get a god roll. Lots of grinding was involved. Now, you could just craft a god roll. When weapon crafting first launched, it had all these currencies that you had to worry about and keep track of. They have since removed some currencies from the game, but I'm still confused and so are some of my friends. So I've done some research, crafted my favorite weapon so far in the craftable library. And so I thought I'd make a video to help us all out. Let's dive into this together so we can begin working towards that god roll weapon. First, let's talk about what you need to begin crafting a weapon after you've gone through the glaive tutorial. First, you'll need a red border weapon. These weapons drop with RNG. You can also use different perks to have them drop at certain times. Like at the Crown of Sorrows, I unlocked Focusing Deep Sight. What this does is the first opulent weapon or haunted weapon you focus each week will be a deep sight modded. This way you can sort of control what you get, at least for the first time of the week. These red border weapons will give you resonant elements, which is a currency needed to select basic perks and craft the weapon. Simply equip the weapon and use it. Eventually you'll fill its progress bar and the resonant elements can be extracted from the weapon. Then you will need resin alloys, which you get from dismantling legendary weapons. Resin alloys are used to select the masterwork of your weapon, stuff like range, reload speed, handling, etc. Then ascended alloys. These are needed to select enhanced perks, which are better than regular perks. You get ascended alloys from doing difficult activities. And finally, you will need the weapon frame to craft. You can obtain these weapon frames from red border weapons. If the red border weapon is a craftable one, unlocking the red border will go towards your progress of unlocking its craftability. We've all been through our first crafting with our glaive, but what confused me was what weapons can I craft and how do I get a god roll? Not everything can be crafted. I thought all red border weapons can, but that's not true. In order to find out what you can craft, first you will go to your triumphs tab then select on the right hand side, click patterns and catalysts. From here, you'll see what weapons can be crafted. If you hover over a weapon, you'll see its pattern progress if you haven't unlocked it yet. This part is where RNG still tries to sting you because those red borders, they don't always drop and you don't always get the weapon you want to drop. Sometimes you'll get the weapon that's craftable, but it's not a red border. Sometimes you'll get a red border weapon, but it's not a craftable one. I'm currently working on the drain. Every time a red border drain drops, that will add to my pattern progress once I've completed the weapon. Not all red border weapons are craftable, like I said earlier but they will help you gain those resin elements that you need. All you have to do is equip the weapon and use it. Having it equipped when you complete an activity will also give you attunement progress. Once the attunement progress is completed, you unlock the weapon to get its resin elements. If this is a craftable weapon, completing it will add to the progress for that weapon frame. For the Drang, I have to do this about five more times, then I can craft it. When you are ready to craft, head over to Savathun's throne world, then to the Enclave. Head down the stairs to the table. You could choose shape to craft a new weapon or reshape to adjust a crafted weapon. We'll get to that later. Just like the glaive tutorial, you can select a weapon you are able to craft, select your intrinsic perk, which looks like only one can be selected on a newly crafted weapon. Here you can see how much resin alloy you will need, 
Once selected, the rest of your perks will open up. On a newly shaped weapon, you won't have much to choose from. But when you're ready to reroll that weapon, I use light.gg to find the perks I want. Again, I will get to that later in the video. Once you've selected your perks, you can finalize the shape at the right hand of the screen. Before we begin talking about reshaping a weapon, just to let you know, I do stream on Twitch. So stop on by, link is in the description below. It's the same as the channel name for my YouTube, twitch.tv slash AZN Tell me about your build. Tell me about what you've been crafting or what you've been working on in Destiny 2. Reshaping a weapon is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. When you use your crafted weapon, it begins to level up. Once it reaches level 20, you can craft the god roll you want. Enhanced traits use ascended alloys to unlock. You can get these from challenging activities, which is why this is a very limited resource. You will go to the same place you crafted your weapon at, but instead select reshape. You must make sure the weapon you want to reshape is not equipped or locked. Also make sure it is on you. Once you've selected the weapon, you will see a lot more options you can select from. This is where I go to light.gg to select the roles that make a god roll. At the top of this website, you can search for the weapon you want. From the weapon page, you see what light.gg thinks is a god roll. This, they will give you some ideas for both PVP and PVE. I use this site because it's a nice quick reference and I don't have to waste precious materials testing out different roles. Lastly, you're probably wondering what to do after you've crafted your god roll at level 20. You can continue to level up the weapon uh, to about level 30. This is where you'll get the full use out of weapon mementos. These mementos can be earned by doing Gambit, Nightfalls, and Trials of Osiris. Mementos are a cosmetic upgrade like shaders, but they but these can only be equipped to crafted weapons. You can use these uh, at any level once they've dropped, I believe, but level 30 is when they are fully unlocked and become a shader. Each activity has its own drop rate. Gambit is a random drop in which you only need to play to get. Nightfall mementos only drop from Grandmaster difficulty and Trials mementos requires you to go flawless on any card. And that's it. I think that is all I know about crafting weapons. If you have any questions or you want to tell me what your role is, stop by the stream or comment below and tell me how your role synergizes with your build. Because what's nice about God rolls is they don't have to be, there's not like a best of the best of the best all the time. Sometimes it's just how you use the weapon. Maybe you're looking to get more, more grenades. So you have perks that support that and it feeds into your build that way. Maybe you're looking for just weapons with the craziest damage possible and you get perks that off a kill give you more damage or something like that. Tell me below, tell me on my stream. And if this video helped you, uh, I please, you know, Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I hope you have a great day and continue uh, grinding in Destiny 2. <laughs> Talk to you later.